Hello and welcome to the Marketing Blocks Academy. In this video, I'm excited to give you a detailed walkthrough of the Marketing Blocks Page Builder Editor. If you're new to creating pages from scratch, don't worry. You might want to check out our tutorial on how to create a page with Marketing Blocks first. This tutorial is designed to show you all the amazing tools in the Marketing Blocks landing page editor in detail. Without further ado, let's dive in and get started. I can't wait to show you how powerful and user-friendly our editor is. For this training, we'll be using one of my existing projects. Feel free to either create a fresh project or select an existing one, whichever you prefer. Once you've chosen your project, navigate to the Design Tool category and click on AI Page Builder 3.0. To access the Page Builder editor, I'll be using one of my existing pages. Just a quick note, this video doesn't cover creating a page from scratch. If you'd like to learn how to do that, check out our training on creating a landing page. Now let's dive in. I'll go ahead and click to edit this page right here. The AI provides a powerful landing page editor that allows you to customize the colors, text, and elements on your page. It also offers section templates that can be easily added using the drag and drop feature. This is where the AI truly excels. It automatically generates relevant and high-quality content for your website or landing page based on your chosen keyword. To make changes to any element within a section, such as an image, video or button, simply click on it. This will open the Edit tab on the right-hand side of the page. From there, you can rewrite the text for a text element and select your preferred language. You can also update the font, font style, line height and spacing. Additionally, you have the ability to customize various aspects of the text element, including the text color, alignment and decoration. Furthermore, you can edit the spacing options, text size, background, borders and much more. The same options are also available for video elements. Just click on the video element to access its settings tab. Once it is opened, you can add a video by pasting your link into this box. You can use videos from YouTube, Vimeo, Vidjack, and Wistia. Alternatively, you can add videos that you created with marketing blocks. To select a video from the Video Creator or Spokesperson tool, click on Add Marketing Blocks Video and make sure to click the Select button after choosing your preferred video. Additionally, we offer more options to customize your video element according to your preferences. Now, let's proceed to work on the background. Simply right-click and select Edit Section. This action will bring up a Settings tab on the right side of the editor. Here, you can modify the section layout, edit the background color or add a background image, set your section size, choose a section layout and so on. You have the option to save and reuse a section when creating other landing pages and websites. To do this, right-click and select Create Component. You can also do this for elements by right-clicking on the preferred element and selecting the Create Component icon. Another important element is the button element. Like other elements, simply click on it to reveal its Settings tab you can choose the button to redirect to a link. In that case, you can choose an external link, an internal link, or an anchor. Alternatively, you can select the direct form option. For a direct form, you have the option to type in a success message and to add a thank you page URL. Next, you have several field options for the form, including confetti form, autoresponders, phone field, Facebook login button, messenger checkbox, and GDPR checkbox. You can toggle these options on or off as needed. You also have the option to create a custom field. Finally, there is a pop-up form option. In this case, when users click your button, a pop-up form comes up. You can input your action URL here. This is the link where your visitors will be redirected after submitting the form. Additionally, you have several options for fields. Click here to see a preview of the pop-up. Below are the presets for buttons, options for customizing text and colors, color hover options, and layout customization options. Now, let's take a look at each option available in the page editor. First, we have sections. 
this is where you can find section templates. To choose more specific templates, click here to see all available categories. Now, you can select the category of your choice. Once you're finished, simply drag and drop your selected template into the editor. Next is the Elements option. This allows you to add or replace an element within a section. All you need to do is drag and drop the element to your desired location. Next is the Layers option. Here, you can see the arrangement of each section, row, column and element on your page. You have the ability to move or rearrange your elements and containers here. In this menu, there is an option called Global. This is where you can find all the sections and elements that you have saved as global. Just like the others, you can simply drag and drop them into the editor. Next is the Integrations option. This is where you can integrate your landing page with an autoresponder. This great feature allows all the leads generated on your page to be automatically added to your autoresponder account. Before we move on to the other options, let's take a quick detour. By clicking the plus button here, you can create sections from scratch. Once you click on it, two options appear. The blank section. This provides you with several columns to choose from. Select the number of columns you prefer and click Next. If you want the section to cover the entire width of the page, you can turn the Full Width option on to remove any gaps at the edges of the section. Finally, you can drag and drop elements into each column and edit them as needed. With the External Link option, you can import and edit existing websites within your landing page editor. Pretty cool, right? Now, let's move on to the important options above the page. First, we have the Undo button, which allows you to revert the last change made to the landing page. Next is the Redo button, which restores any action that was previously undone. Moving on, we have the Desktop, tablet and mobile optimization options. Marketing Blocks enables you to build pages that are optimized for different devices too. This option lets you check the mobile and tablet friendliness of your landing page. Next up is the Settings option. Click on it to access the page settings where you can edit the page title and add a description. This description serves as metadata for SEO. Lastly, you can add a favicon by clicking on the corresponding button. Once you have opened the application, click on the button that says Upload Image in order to select your favicon from your computer. This option allows you to add a custom script, which means you can include your own code to modify the functionality of the page. Additionally, you can also add custom CSS to style the page according to your preferences. One feature that you can set up is an exit intent pop-up that appears when a user is about to leave the page. You can toggle this feature on or off as needed. Once it is toggled on, you will see a preview button. Click on it to update and customize the appearance of the pop-up window. Furthermore, you have the ability to reorder the actions on the page by holding down a section and moving it to a different position. This allows you to arrange the elements in a way that suits your needs. Great, let's continue. The next feature is the Preview button. By clicking on this button, you can preview how your landing page will appear before publishing it. By selecting the Export option, you can download the page as a zip file to your computer. This allows you to host your landing pages on your own domain or import them into your WordPress site. Once you have finished making all the necessary adjustments, remember to click on the Save button. At this stage, you have successfully created a landing page, but not an entire website. To create a website, you need to follow these steps for each page you want to include. First, go to the Section option and look for Menu. Choose a template and drag it into the editor. Now, the exciting part begins. Let's start with the logo. Click on it to access the Logo Settings option. Here, you can customize the font, font size, line height, and letter spacing. You have the option to select either the logo, the title, or both. You can also add a link to the logo. 
To edit the menu, click on the empty space next to it to see the editing option. Here, you can rearrange the menu items. Simply hold on to a menu item and move it up or down to a new position. By clicking on the three dots icon, you will find more options. The first is the edit option, where you can modify the text and most importantly, add a link to the menu. To do this, click on link and choose the type of link you want to use. You have three options, internal link, external link and anchor. The internal link feature allows you to choose from other pages you have created within marketing blocks. The external links feature provides a box where you can add a link to an external website. The anchor feature displays all the sections of your website and allows you to select a particular section to anchor to a menu option. This is useful when you want to create a one-page website. Repeat this process for each menu option. Once you click the Save button, your website is ready to be published live. Now you can share your creation with the world and start attracting visitors. That's it. You have successfully created a landing page or website using marketing blocks. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please use the chat widget at the bottom right corner of this page or email us at support at marketingblocks.ai. We will make sure to get back to you. Cheers.